you are looking for a high end desktop computing or a server or the workstation computing you have three choices as of now i am focusing on i7-6700k and 5930k the 6700k is the newer is Kylac processor and i7-5930k is the Haswell E processor and looking at i have also included the i7-5820k and the reason for this has to do with the pricing the Skylac and uh, Haswell E 5820K are reasonably priced as $396 and $350. But if you go at a slightly higher clock frequency, for example, if you are looking at uh, 5820K and 5930K, you have only increase in two of 200 megahertz in the clock frequency and only 100 megahertz in turbo clock frequency plus but the price shoots up from 396 to 594 almost 200 dollars and that's probably not worth it if you are uh, conscious about your pricing or your dollar every dollar you spend but maybe it doesn't make sense for a corporate to have a deep pocket but if you are looking at a um, affordable and uh, still getting the performance uh, you might want to uh, stay at 5820k that being said let's take a look at if i7-6700k and if i7-590k that's going to be some uh, different uh, variations different parameters that are at much different and we'll take a look at that the cache memory is 8mb versus 15mb one of the most imp important things to differentiate the processing power. We have a quad core in Skylac and a hex core in Haswell E and that itself is going to bring up the performance by 50 percent. We have a hyper threading enabled in the Haswell E of course it is also enabled in Skylac but uh, since they have a more number of cores and more number of threads that adds up uh, another 10 to 15 percent of performance improvement on the top of the number of cores. The Skylac is uh, Skylac is clocked uh, higher at 4 gigahertz versus 3.5 gigahertz in Haswell E and that is going to work in favor of the Skylac. So, the 50 percent of uh, the performance improvement due to the number of the cores is going to reduce a little bit because of the higher clock frequency in Skylac. Of course, you can overclock the Haswell E it is an overclockable part uh, with the suffix k, but possibly not to the extent that you may expect. Uh, looking at their benchmark score, we have i7-6700k at 10,886 close to 11,000 and i7-5930k at 13,693. The score for 5920k is uh, just below 13,000. So, you do not get that much of performance improvement in 5920k, 5930k compared to 5920k and that is why I say i7-5920k makes much more sense for that given pricing. Uh, some more comparison, uh, Skylake has an integrated graphics, Haswell E does not have, you will have to get a external graphics card and depending upon your requirement whether you are doing uh, looking for a gaming or you are uh, more towards uh, computing or a workstation you can choose from 40 50 dollars graphic card to all the way to 400 or 500 dollars of graphics card for gaming it makes sense for intel not to integrate the hd graphics in this extreme processor because that heats up even more and you, you see the TDP rating is already 140 watts and anything into it will add up. Both of them has a DDR4 that works at 1.24 and keeps it cool uh, compared to DDR3 that works at 1.5 volt. So, another, another differentiating factor is the quad uh, memory channel 
in Haswell E we have four channels versus two channels in Skydeck and that doubles the rate of the transfer between the processor and the memory. Haswell also Haswell E also has the QF QPI uh, link versus DMI 3 links in Skylake. So, with QPI of course, you can connect a processor to another processor that opens up the possibility of a dual, dual processor system. I hope it helps you. Thanks for taking a look.